Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rubes here. Today we are cranking into a Ravnica Remastered Draft Booster Box. Let's go. So this is the final draft box we will ever be opening from the next set. Murders at Karlov Manor. We move to Play Boosters and Collector Boosters only. So the Play Booster is a merger of the set and draft booster. So uh, you get usually a little, a few more rares than you would in a draft and there's one less wild card slot in the Play Booster. So it's one less chance to get a rare and you hit list cards less frequently. We want to get ourselves some shocks. We want to see Cyclonic Rift. Wish us luck. Here is pack number one. Is it Signet? Court of Calling. Old Border. That is magical. Classic, classic card with the original art as well. Mayhem Devil. Excellent. So that signet is coming in the mana fixing slot. In that slot we can find a shock, if we're lucky I believe. Otherwise you're usually going to find a guild gate. And I think it's about 1 in 8, 1 in 10 packs to find a shock in that slot. Uh, there we go, guild gate, Azorius. Another guild gate, Selesnia guild gate. Lazav, the Multifarious. Another guild gate, foil glow spore shaman. So it looks like in that slot we're either getting a old boarded card or foil. Have, oh no, there we go. We've got the faith fetters in the old border. And wow, borderless Karlov of the Ghost Council. First mythic. There's talks that because Tace is dying in the next set that perhaps she is gonna <laughs> Be the next Karlov of the Ghost Council. Farsi, Lightning Helix. Lightning Helix coming back to standard with murders at Karlov Manor. Gruel Signet. Old Border Experiment 1. Phyto Hydra. Nothing too exciting in the back there. Not too many commons and uncommons. Uh, I think light up the sorry, skewer the critics. A common is the only one that might be over a dollar. Silesnia so Signet, Demir Houseguard, Connive and Concoct. Guildgate, uh, rare old border void slime, ultimate price is a charm. The only good thing is with the play boosters, well not the only thing, but one of the good things is that they are going to be 36 to a box, however that is going to make the average price of a box a little bit more. Um, and it is going to make drafting a little bit more expensive. We've got a Gruel Guildgate. Wow, <laughs> that's it's a foil blood crypt, guys. Holy, <laughs> great card. Goblin Electromancer. Oh, <laughs> okay, we're talking. This is a this is a pack. We've got a Liliana Dreadhorde General. It was an awesome pack. Oh my god. She is a house in uh, Aristocrat Tigs. Commander. Uh, okay, next one. Old Border is it Guildgate and a full art or showcase Hellkite Tyrant. Stealing all your mates' artifacts. 
<laughs> shark the crab makes me laugh every time that creature typing shark octopus crab typical uh, simic things Orzov Signet, Siege of the Towers, Siege of Towers, Foil, Dreadbor, Old Border, Loaming Shaman, very good, just gonna shift these around a little bit, let's make some more room here, put the shocks there, put that there, Okay, that is looking good. Alright, Golgari Signet, Vindictive Vampire Old Border. Repudiate and Replicate. Muddle the Mixture, that is decent. Or it was decent. Now that the set is out there and people are cracking packs, um, it does seem that the, the value on quite a few of the cards is going down. It'll be interesting to see where the shocks get to at their bottom. We may be there. We may still have somewhere to go. Uh, Zorius Guildgate with a foil, rubble belt marker, and another blood crit. Oh, yeah, in the old border, too. That is great. Starting off this box strong. I forgot to mention, so we paid for this box 235 New Zealand dollars. And our goal, as always, is to beat the box. And to do that, we need to open more than that value worth of cards and cards worth a dollar or more. Ores of Guildgate, totally lost. Poor Fibble Thit. We have Borborygmos, Enraged. And that is another pack, Borborygmos, infamous for an incident in a tournament. There's two cards, there's one that's just called Borborygmos and one that was uh, called Borborygmos and Rage, that one. And uh, in the tournament, some player said that um, he named Borborygmos, clearly it was related to this one, but because he didn't say the name exactly right, uh, it meant that uh, he was... Able to, oh my gosh, overgrown too. Look at that, three shocks. He was able to still play the card because the opponent didn't state the name correctly when he was trying to play a card, Pithing Needle, which stops him from playing it, um, which, had a, <laughs> which had a big effect on the outcome of that game, Quasi Duplicate. Uh, that rare also coming in the mana fixing slot, not in the actual rare slot of that pack. So hopefully we uh, see a few more of those boys. Or a signet. Utopia Sprawl. Prime Speaker Zagana. Another victim from Murders at Karlov Manor. Right, need to pick up the pace. Let's go. Rectos Guildgate, another Borborygmos in the old border. That's interesting. Two in the same box, Rhythm of the Wild. Before it was printed, that's a $5 uncommon. I'm sure it's not $5 now. I'm getting reprinted in the latest uh, Commander decks from the Lost Cabins of Ixalan. We have a Simic Signet. Is that Foil? Yeah, Be Deck, Be Dazzle, and Foil. Oh, wow. I think that's an anime Crypt cast. That's an amazing one. Nice. Very happy to see that. Yeah, wow. I'm surprised. I wasn't hopeful. There's not. Skewer the critics there. Um, yeah, there's not too many reds outside the shocks that are of much value, but Cryptcast is, is one of them, apparently. 
Okay, Recto Skill Gate. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> We're going for the place it. That is Borborygmos and Rage number three. We have a regular, an old border, and the foil. Debt to the Deathless and Illusionist's Braces. If you want to copy some triggers. We have Call of the Conclave, Old Border, Copy Enchantment. Everyone's favorite street dwelling goblin, the Gutter Snipe. Shout out to Krenko and the boys. Ah, there was one other one, Persistent Petitioners. So this is one of those cards that you can have as many as you want in a commander deck. You're not just restricted to one. Previously a couple of dollars, but I do believe this one may be less now um, with the reprint. Let's have a little tidy up. We're about halfway. So three shocks in, two in the six. Must be plenty more left in there for us. Demir Signet. Rakdos, Lord of Riots in the old border. Moldavine Cloak. And a bunch of other bits and pieces. Rakdos, Lord of Riots. Supposed to be thousands of years old. One of the original signings of the Guild Pact and Ravnica, if you're there for the lore, but interestingly, the set after Murders, Murders at Carl of Manor, which is Outlaws of Thun and the Junction, he's going to be there in the Wild West, so I'm not sure how he's going to fit in there. Uh, is it Guildgate? Putrefy Old Border. Find and Finality. I believe five or six seems to be the average shocks for a box. So let's see if we get there. We have Chromatic Lantern also coming in that mana fixing slot. Foil Last Gasp. Old Border Persistent Petitioners. Priest of Forgotten Gods. Skewer the Critics, Old Water, Revival and Revenge. Azorius Guildgate, Simic Guildgate, Old Water, Legion War Boss. Really surprised that we've only seen two mythics so far. This must have been this one in this pack. Arclight Phoenix. Old Border. For those who aren't aware, on Arclight Phoenix, you can see the little graveyard symbol there. That was um, for back in the day when people were playing so people could easily tell there was something in your graveyard that still had an effect back when you had to stack your graveyard in a specific order Simic Guildgate, Night Veil Sprite, Illusionist Braces, Old Border there is a lot of duplicates in this pack that is very interesting have your boxes been like this? have you guys found quite a few duplicates in there? I'm really surprised Summit Guildgate, Foil, Old Border, Terramander, Devouring Light, Void Slime. Yeah, this is quite surprising. Oh well, we've still got a third of the box left to see if uh, it's just to do with how the packs are stacked. Golgari Guildgate, Orzo Guildgate, Protean Hulk is another mythic. This guy's a crazy, crazy combo piece. You can just search up whatever creatures you need up to a certain amount of value when he dies and uh, usually line yourself up a pretty good combo. Wars of Signet, Muddle the Mixture, Stitch in Time. A 
Oh, it looks like we definitely started out too strong uh, coming through the last part of this box. It's not, it's not been the same. So there you go, prospective buyers. Maybe this isn't for you. Uh, Keening Apparition, Azorius Guildgate, Fibblethip the Lost, we have three six packs to go, so we have got uh, quite a bit of work to do. Aha, there we go, breeding pool, excellent. Oi, straight into an old border Birds of Paradise. That's what we needed to boost this back up. Interestingly, in this set, uh, Cyclonic Rift has been reprinted again after being reprinted in Commander Masters, but this time it's at Mythic. Same with Guardian Project, originally printed at Rare, now Mythic. Do you guys think those cards need that upshift in rarity, or do you think they need to be more available? Demir Signet, is it Charm, Assure and Assemble, and another Shark to Crab, yeah buddy. We have Golgari Guildgate, Cloudfin Raptor, Old Border, Assemble the Legion. Recto Signet, Ghostway Old Border. Yeah, I have to say, talking about breaking records, I had that really good Commander Masters draft box, but this is a really funny box. Three, three Mythics out of 36 is crazy, really surprising. Boris Guildgate, Old Border Foil Skewer the Critics, that may be a penny or two. Demir Guildgate and a Teferi Time Raveler. There we go, there's another mythic. So we're at four shocks so far. Hopefully we, uh, we can get ourselves at least one more. Silesnia Guildgate, totally lost. Moldavine Cloak, Old Boarded. Oh wow, anime Domri Ray. That looks so neat. Look at that art on the board. There's two anime cards in this pack. Very cool. Lucky last. All right. Well, I think <laughs> we've had some interesting luck in this box. Uh, some really crazy, unexpected things, and. Um, yeah, maybe a lack of shock lands, but again, let this help inform your buying decisions when it comes to buying seal. Generally, it's not the best. Um, Azorius Signet, Old Border Stitch in Time. And that brings us to the end of the box. So, a lot of people have been saying they expect the price on these boxes to go way down. Um, I think that's likely as well. Not a huge amount of value in the set. So we ended up with four shock lands, which seems to be below rate. We did get a foil blood crit, which is excellent. Um, a few nice rares, got the anime crypt ghast, uh, and then five mythics. Liliana, awesome. Domri raid, anime, beautiful. Hopefully we did all right. In terms of predicting whether we beat the box or not, I'm going to say we didn't. It didn't feel as strong as some other ones, and I, I don't know that we got there. But I had fun. I hope you guys had fun, and it helps you decide whether you're going to get it or not. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the punishment coming up, and we'll see you next time. Bye.